Hey guys, welcome back to Dragonflight. It's Stellara, and we are continuing our way through the quests here in Marukai. Um, so one thing I wanted to do really quick, I forgot that they have these campaign chapters now. So if anyone needs a, a quick refresher of what we've been doing ever since we made it to this new area, the Onoran Plains, uh, we came here to reach the Green Dragonflight and help them empower the Emerald Oathstone. To do so, we had to establish diplomacy with the Maruk Centaur so that we could cross their lands. We met, met Scout Tumal of Clan Shikar and aided her in hunting party and taking down a proto-dragon. She introduced me to Sansa Khan of Clan Shakar, and she shared that the Green Dragons were sending an emissary to the Centaur's upcoming gathering and agreed to bring you along. So we traveled alongside the caravan, and at one point we even helped their mystic own Seshteng receive a bleak omen from their god Onanra before arriving in Marukai. And ever since we've arrived here, we've been going around picking up quests, and one of the quest lines that we've been doing is actually a little bit of a love triangle. We've got two people who are trying to propose to each other and don't know about it, and have got me running errands for them. So one of them has brought me here to Provisioner Zara. The trade follows trust. Uh, and... It says here, It is my responsibility to ensure that we have everything we need for this Kural. My son has the honor of leading the hunting efforts to ensure that our plates are always full. However, he seems distracted as of late. A wandering heart seeks a hearth. I have brought you sweets on behalf of Windsage Dawa. Oh, how delightful. Such treats must be shared with the entire clan. That Dawa is kind to follow tradition, but we Shikar have different values. We pride ourselves on mastery in our own crafts. To love my son is to love the hunt itself. A gesture of the hunt would be more appropriate. Dawa is no hunter, however. There is no shame in it. His duty is to answer to a higher call. There is a large, gruff musket by the Nokud enclave, Enclave. Seek it out and bring the horns to the Wind Sage. They will make mighty ornaments for Narmon, and the rest of us will feast from their remains. I will hope for your swift return. So we brought the sweets to the mother-in-law, and it wasn't exactly what she wanted. She wanted us to do some hunting, so we're going to have to... to do that next as well. We have... Narman's offering that we need to bring to the matchmaker. So, let's fly over here. The things we do in the name of love. <laughs> and this should be where we need to hunt. There. Old Arbog. I'm here to kill you in the name of love! Man, old Arbog is putting up a fight here, too. He's not going down easy. He clearly doesn't care about this love. <laughs> You'll have to earn it. Good fight, Arbog. Thank you for your horns. While we're over here, the matchmaker, I think, is just over here. do we have here? Here's a matchmaker Osila. What roads have you traveled? Aren't you a handsome one, dear? There's plenty of eligible centaur participating in the fields if you're interested. Best find the right one for you before they get themselves mauled. <laughs> Won't be long before there's some little Drakthir younglings running around, eh, Tarala? Hold up. <laughs> I brought some sweets for you, matchmaker. Sweets? <laughs> Osila takes a large bite of the tart. Did Odd Geralt send you? She knows I can't resist a good tart. Well, tradition does dictate an exchange of offerings between families, true compatibility comes from ancestral guidance. Fetch some cirrus flowers and place them before the burial mound. We will consult the bloodline. Good luck. My goodness, if I had known this was so involved when I signed up, these people had better know how much help I'm giving them so they can be together. This hasn't been a simple process. We've needed to get sweets, we've needed to hunt beasts, we've needed to gather flowers, we've needed to consult the ancestors. It is just never ending. I guess they don't have dating apps here in uh, 
the Ona and Ron planes. <laughs> dares to awaken Sauron Khan. Go on then, ask. Great Khan, I come before you for your blessing and seeking the hand of your grandson. I'm among the mightiest of Shikar hunters of the current day. I can hit the eye of a Brufflon from 60 paces. I'm faster than... Enough. I care not for your accomplishments. Is your love true? It is. Then you have my blessing. Stay true as you claim your arrow to be, hunter. Well, there you go, man. Love? This is far from traditional. There we go! We got the blessing! The ancestor was, uh, very reasonable after all. So, we need to, uh, go check in. I'm like Cupid. Flying around, delivering love. <laughs> Cupid is a Drakthir in the WoW universe. Y'all heard it here first, folks. Okay, so first we'll uh, check in with Narmon. Welcome. I would sooner I ask all the stars of the night sky to admire me back than claim to be wholly worthy of Dawa's love. Nonetheless, I will find the courage to proceed. When the time comes, will you assist me with a grand proposal? Feed your blind spots. Sure thing, man. Little do you know, he's working on a proposal for you, too. <laughs> it's gonna be a double proposal. Hey, Darwa. Allow the spirits to sing through you. Narmon deserves a jester as great as he is. Oh, well. Arbog's horns? They'll do just fine. Arbog was once the mightiest muskin on the plains. These are a fitting gift for the mightiest hunter. I'm sure Narmon will appreciate them. Perhaps one day he will teach me to hunt. An Oni or Huntsman. Ha! Huh, imagine that. Now it will be quiet again. There's a small pond by the mirror of the sky where Narmon and I first met during my initiate training. Initiates travel up there to be closer to Onanara so they may feel the wind. I first saw him in the reflection of the water when a sun breeze opened my eyes. It is the most beautiful sight in all of the plains. It will be the perfect place for our proposal. Now we need to help Dawa and Narman with their proposals. Oh. The wind take you? Send for Narman. He will know the place. I love this. I love how we're just here playing... Uh, playing matchmaker. A little bit of back and forth, but it's going to be totally worth it in the end. Be respectful. You have great timing, Tarala. As per tradition, I've received the blessing of both families and I am ready to proceed. There's a small pond by Tirakai where Dawa and I used to meet. Send him there and I'll be waiting. Well, when you know it, Dawa's actually already headed towards the pond. May you pray already? Then I must hurry! Go. Meet us there when you are able. I will be right behind you. After putting in all this work, I couldn't bear to be late. Wouldn't dare to miss the big moment. I am flying on my dragon. Heading to meet the boys. Oh wow, this this pond was far quite far away actually. First one here? Oh, there they are. Dawa, I must ask. Narman, I've brought you here to ask. 
Did we just... We did. Want to get married? More than anything. I love you, and I you more than anything. Ah! Oh. Well, this is the cutest quest I've ever done. How is your Thank hunting? you, Tarala. Dawa and I will always remember what you have done for us. Ah! Oh. Come, Norman, we have much to plan. How adorable! We're gonna go tell the news to their clans, and we got some quest rewards. We got the Lover's Bouquet, which is a toy. Ooh, cool. We got an achievement for that. We also got a reci recipe for celebratory cake! All's well that ends well, ladies and gentlemen. And I am happy for love! Alright, so we are back now in the center of Marukai, and we are going to check in with Sansok Khan. Now that we've finished our matchmaking duties, let's see what she has to say. Uh, while there are many clans among the plains, the four you have formerly met hold the most power. It is vital to your peaceful stay in our lands that you know their specialties. It is time to test what you have learned. Do you feel prepared? Um, I did not know there was going to be a test on this. <laughs> Okay, uh, question one. Which clan upholds our ancestors' traditions and guides the Maruk according to their ways? I think it's Tira Tirai? Whew. Okay. Which clan is made up of centaur from across the plains who have owned honed a special connection to our god, Onara? That's the Onir. Okay, we're halfway there, two out of four. Which clan is the newest to rise to power and maintains the largest standing military force? That's no Nokud. Which means there's only one left. Which clan specializes in honing their skills and hunting game across the plains? Shikar. Yay! I did it! I got 100% on my test! While there are many clans of various sizes throughout the plains, Shikar, Tirai, Onir, and Nokud hold the most power. Now we can choose our reward. These are all good rewards. I'm gonna choose the Onir Pendant. Make way! The emissary from the Green Dragon Flight has arrived! Where? It is my honor to Literally represent where? my flight. It has been many years since our people connected. Oh. Right here. Emisath. So she's not a dragon, it's a dracodon. I will admit that I've not left the I Emerald Gardens. Hang on, she's talking. <laughs> I request you let her know I am prepared. Okay. I will admit that I have not left the Emerald Gardens in all my life, and as such, I've never met a centaur, let alone a mortal from the mainland. However, I'm not here for a kindly visit, but rather to plead for the centaur's aid in securing our oath stone and protecting our charge. I'm glad to see you are here to help as well. There is much to discuss. Um, what's going on in the Emerald Gardens? Do you know of the Primalists? They've been launching attack after attack into our gardens since the Green Dragons returned. While the dragons are mighty, the flight has lost much over the years, and skirmishes have ended in stalemate. Marithra hopes that the centaur can help us turn the tide. What is the relationship between the Green Dragon Flight and the Maruk Centaur? Over 10,000 years ago, the centaur came to the Dragon Isles, looking for a place to call home. They laid claim to the vast open plains near our gardens. At the beginning, centaur and dragon were foes, hunting each other and fighting over territory. The centaur's first matriarch, Tira, and Marithra herself were the first to fight along each other. They proved the strength of centaur and dragon together, that it would be only beneficial to their people to lay down arms against each other. They made a pact of respect to stay out of each other's way, but to provide aid to each other when their livelihoods were threatened. Though it has been generations for the centaur, Marithra hopes that the pact may still stand. So what is the charge of the green dragonflight? The Green Dragonflight is charged with the protection of nature, and most importantly, the Emerald Dream. It is a beautiful, spiritual, ever-shifting realm of natural wonder, a mirror of Azeroth as it may have one day been or may still become. It is a world of healing, though it has experienced many of its own nightmares. Okay, well, I'm here to help restore the Green Oathstone. Your support is welcome. Our forces are small in number. There are few defenders among us, but we are gardeners, not fighters. Within our gardens stands a portal to the Emerald Dream. 
We cannot empower our Oathstone without forces to defend our charge from primalist attacks. Okay, I could probably do help you with that. More friendly Marithra faces are welcome indeed. Anamatra upholds her ancestors' pact to aid us in this time of need. Got it. Well, hopefully they will, and then I will join you as well. Ooh. We got Renown 3 with the Centaur. We also got a new chest piece, the Shikar Scout Hauberk. It's really good for us, actually. Put that on. Continue talking to Gimisov. I cannot linger in Centaur lands. I must return to the gardens as soon as I am able. The Kanam Matra has agreed to hear our plea for aid. She awaits my arrival at the top of the Krutal, the central building of Marukal. Though I must speak with her on my own at first, you are more than welcome to join us. I must speak with the Kanamatra. I implore you to join us when you are able. I mean, I'm free right now. <laughs> she completely teleported up there, but we will follow. Look how beautiful the sky is. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's like this beautiful purple color. Looks like a watercolor painting. That is just gorgeous. Okay, sorry guys, I got distracted there for a minute by the sky. Let's head up this way. Looks like there's another quest here for us as well that we can pick up inside the Great Hall. Quartermaster Hussein. My heart awaits you. Where will the wind Outsider, take you? you are proving yourself useful. Let this warm you on cold nights. And when it does, remember that we are friends. Hussein grins. I see you doing great things for our people, Tarala. Oh, cool. We get to choose uh, a toy. A Mara cooking pot? A very comfortable pelt? Or a pile of comfortable pelts? I want the pile. Farewell. Seems like the most bang for my buck, you know? I want to try that out right now. Oh wow! Look at this. You could just take, take a little, take a little rest. On my big pile of pelts. Pretty cool. Thanks, guys. How is your health? My health's pretty good. Uh, I don't know how to get up from these pelts, though. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm stuck. I'm so comfy. I. I can't get back up. <laughs> This is sacred land. Oh my god. Oh, oh he, wait. There we go. <laughs> I was so comfy there for a second. I just melted into that pile of pelts. Alright, cool. Now let's go upstairs. Consgard Akato. What roads have you traveled? Say your business with the Kana Matra. I'm ready for my audience. The Maruk, too, have been plagued by these primalists. If Onora wills it, I will blow the horn of Dressal on the morrow to signal our accord with the Green Dragonflight. Marithra, daughter of Ysera, is grateful for your... Grateful? Ha! <laughs> Dragons only respect dragons. No Maruk blood will be spilled for them. You are not the Kanematra, Balakar. A true leader would never surrender this land to outsiders. You desecrate the memory of Maruk Thousand Bones, Serist. Stand down. No. These plains belong to the Maruk. And Marukai belongs to the Nakud! Great. All right. So we got a full-scale rebellion. We just murdered an ambassador. And uh, looks like it's going to be war amongst amongst the Maruk. Not good, although I expected something like this to happen. A traitorous fool. Kato spits on the ground. Seems so. Balakar disgraces his clan. He leads them into the storm, blinded by his lust for power. Their betrayal reveals their fragility. Cut them down. May your family be blessed with the excuses for Centaur are beneath me. 
Over here! Take care of these weaklings! All right, so we are erupting into civil war here. Looked like everything was gonna go great. We were gonna give the Emerald Dragonflight the health that they were requesting, but nope, here comes the Nokud. I knew they were gonna be trouble ever since I saw the Elementalists in their camp. We have to take out 10 of their forces. This looks like we have another quest just out here. Scout to Mull. The Noku drool over war stories of Arkhine's ancient past. In truth, they are weak, play-acting children. And with one strike of lightning, they have severed their connection to Onara. Well, if they will walk the path of corruption to seek war, then we will indulge them. Of course, Bahir was left in command to cover his escape. Her blood will soon stain the ground. We need to fight Guard Bahir. Left in charge by Balakar, Bahir has been waiting for this moment for a long time. Well... If she's been waiting, then we will give it to her. It's a fight she wants, it's a fight she'll get. Looks like she should be just down here. There she is. She wasn't very nice to us earlier, so... I don't think I'm gonna feel very bad about fighting her. Alakar Khan will lead the centaur to victory. Well, I hope he does a better job than you did, because uh, <laughs> you're not leading nobody to victory. Alright. She's down. We'll take out a few more of these guys, and then we can go report in. One more storm adept. You're the one for me. Perfect. Let's go turn How in these quests. they have chosen is now stained with blood. Scout Tomol tried to warn us this might happen. She may have further suspicions. Balakar was an easy target for Koroleth's corrupting influence. The storm has arrived. Take some food for the Clan Nokud's army is taking Marukai. Let us discuss our next moves in the Khan chambers. We must keep the Maruk safe. May your ancestors guide you. Clan Nokud has made their choice. They betray the Maruk for power. The storm crests the horizon. It grows dark. 
My promise to the emissary stands. It seems the Maruk and the dragons need each other once again. Khans, ready your clans for war. Outsider. You must be the dragon seeker Sansar Khan told me about. If you aim to help the dragons, you can help us. The very lifeblood of the Maruk is in danger. Good luck. Balakar will marshal his forces for war. I will do the same, but we are outnumbered. The dragons have asked for our aid, and we can use their help to even the odds. To answer their call for an alliance, I must blow the horn of Drushal, but I need Onara's blessing. Will you help me? Go to Tirakai and deliver my declaration of war to my lieutenant, Jabotai. He will marshal my forces and direct you to the mystics who can find Onara. Follow. Make haste. We must rally our forces and find Onara before Balakar can bring his army to bear. Got it. Well, luckily, I mean, it's going to be three clans pu plus potentially dragons against one clan and the Elementalists. So even though we may be outnumbered a little bit, I kind of like our odds. So guys, it didn't take long for the big betrayal to happen. And it uh, looks like the hooves of war are upon us. Hopefully I'll see you guys back here again real soon for more Dragonflight, and we can see how this war is gonna go down. Should be good.